What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I sync up Pilot to ATC um, with the PMDG 737-800 in the FMC and how to make sure everything gets synced up so when you're flying your route in the PMDG 737 that it actually um, coexists, I guess, works with um, Pilot to ATC. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our departure. So we're going to go from Albuquerque and our arrival is going to be K Den. We're not actually going to do the flight in this video. We're just going to, I'm just going to show you how we sync it up. So we're going to go down here and we're going to pick our, <coughs> our uh, terminal that we're going to be at. So we're going to be at, let's say, gate A1, just, just for, you know, whatever. So we're going to hit fly. Okay, so we are here at um, Albuquerque. Uh, we are at the gate A1. So as you see, we're going to jump back in the cockpit. So everything's off right now. So first thing we want to do is uh, go ahead and open Pilot to ATC now. So as Pilot to ATC is loading, we're going to give it a second. And now we're just going to hit connect. So we are connected. Next, what we want to do is we want to go to add waypoint. We're going to type in KABQ for Albuquerque. That's where we're at. And then we're going to add another waypoint, KDEN, for our destination. Hit enter. Then we're going to hit auto plan. So this is going to give us, since it's connected to real world weather, um, it's going to give us everything that we need. So all our top of descent point. Um, it should give us our top of climb too, um, but it doesn't here. It'll give it to us in the FMC. Um, but this is uh, this is what they're recommending. So since it's connected to the real world weather, um, it's recommending runway three, doing the Largo three RSK tra uh, transition. For the standard approach, we're going to do the Larks three runway sixteen R RSK ILS runway sixteen. So now that we know that, we can go into uh, Navigraph. So we're going to set up this. We're going to just say one, flight 123. We're departing Albuquerque. We're arriving at K Dunn. Airframe, we're using the 737-800. So we'll select that. I always just use first class configuration. Um, make sure you set your units to what you want. I'm in the US, so we do pounds. I also use plant step climbs. So this will um, automatically give us our steps uh, for climbing and descending. Uh, altitude, all that you don't need. It'll do it on, on its own. But for departure runway, we know it's going to be runway three. So we select runway three does it want SIDS and STARS, you select yes. Um, for our approach or our landing, it's going to be runway 16 right. So we want to select 16 right. Do you want to select new SIDS and STARS for the runway? Hit yes. And that's pretty much it for um, for Navigra or for SimBrief. So you want to hit generate flight. So it's going to generate the flight for us. And then here we can see uh, all the information. So the initial altitude is going to be 33,000 feet. So we know that. What we want to do is go down to root. We want to select this, copy it. So now it's copied. All this stuff is going to be in our PMDG, but this is important to know the root. Um, I mean, not the root, the altitude. So we know the altitude. Uh, I don't know if it says our speed though. It doesn't say the speed. That's fine. I usually do 320. Um, since the PMDG 737, that's like the speed it goes to. So what you want to go do is go back to pilot to ATC, hit new, 
it'll basically clear everything out. Go up to here, go to cruise. So we know it's 33,000 feet, so we type in 33,000 like that, hit enter. So now our cruise changed to 33,000. Our ground speed, plan ground speed, 320. So we're just going to leave that. You can change this if you want, the climb rate and the descent rate. I just leave it at 2,500 and 1,600. But next we want to go to uh, FP import right here. You want to select FP import. Make sure you select Simbri from this drop down menu. You're going to right click and just hit paste. Oh, did not copy it. I didn't copy it. So, my bad. So you want to go back here. You want to select this again. Hit copy. Go here. Hit paste. So now you pasted that whole um, flight route from Simbrief. You want to hit import. So now it hit import. So runway 16, it says that. So Simbrief doesn't know that it's an ILS. So all you want to do is come into runway 16. So Simbrief gave us, as you remember, it gave us a different, I mean, Simbrief gave us a different SID and STAR um, compared to what uh, Pilot to ATC gave us. But it's not a problem because it still has them all in there. But you want to go to Approach. Make sure it's set to ILS 16W. You can select a transition if you want. I usually just do vectors. And then I hit Load. So now it's set it to ILS Runway 16. Um, give us all our altitude restrictions, ground speed knots. Um, it says 320 right there. That's because we selected 320. Flight level 33,000 because we selected 33,000 up there. And everything should be good. So now all we got to do is we can close out of this in brief. And then we just have to hit file right there. So once we hit file, everything will be filed. So the whole point of when we did the um, when we did the new and we added the waypoint K Albuquerque and K uh, Den when we did that and we hit auto plan was basically to find out the runway that we're going to be using because it goes by the wind. So it told us our runway and it told us our um, our runway for landing, which both were right. It was runway 3 and runway 16. So those were both right in the very beginning. It just gave us a different SID and a different star, um, which is not a problem because you just paste it in here and it found everything for you. So now after that is connected, you can minimize uh, pilot to ATC because now it's all set up. Now what we want to do is go to FS Actions, Ground Services. We want to request our GPU ground power unit and once it's on it's available go ahead and turn that on Albuquerque International Sunport and then information we can go ahead and turn on bat. batteries on at five knots. so Visibility now while that's miles. going we can also do our scattered. Um, one six thousand overcast alignment. temperature so four dew point minus three current altimeter is three zero zero nine er arriving and departing runway zero three so we can even try to compare them. So if we go to the top right here, heading 34, 6900. That's right. So this says at 14,000 feet for Gren will be above 12,000, which is fine because we'll be above 12,000. Fiery, fiery, Hemez, Hemez. Um, gondola, gondola. And then if we go next step step so now we got never so we're right there never never borrow borrow babaro top of descent point so this is when we start descending after our flight level so lift lift t bar t bar m narc m narc And then we can go through these. And now we're on Elos. 
So Elos, Elos, Epic, Epic, Ardival, Ardival, Cliff, Cliff. And then this is the ILS, so Maryland, Jetson. This is just giving us our vectors. But Maryland and Jetson are there. That's where our, um, right there, Maryland, Jetson. So if we look at our chart, Maryland and Jetson. So we go to arrival, go to approach. We're doing 16 right. Zoom in. So Maryland Jetson. So that's when the glide scope will activate at 7,000 jets in Maryland. So 8,000 at Maryland. 8,000 at Maryland. 7,000 exact at Jetson. 7,000 exact at Jetson. And then it'll just glide scope, glide slope us down it. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you'd go about setting up pilot to ATC with um, your PMDG 737 FMC and have everything synced up working together. Um, it really works great. Pilot to ATC really works great with uh, with with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And until the next video, have a safe flight. Peace.